today on MTG Unpacked, we have a fantastic pack smorgasbord for patrons. So let's introduce the patrons. We have David Griffiths, Janelle Mondragon, Brian Simmons, and finally Mark S. Baker. Thank you for being patrons. Okay, so David, we're going to grab War, Allegiance, Guilds, and a Zendikar Rising Set Booster. Janelle, Oath of the Gatewatch. Brian is after Core 2020, Core 2021, and a Mystery Booster. And then Mark, Guilds, Allegiance, and two Mystery Boosters. Let's get cracking. Thank you for being a patron, David. And new patrons get the rares, mythic spoils, and anything over a buck. Okay, so let's crank this lighting here. Get some focus. We're all set. Naga Eternal, Raging Crunch, Battlefield Promotion, Sky Theatre Strix, Primordial Worm, Band Together, Prismite, Herald of the Dread Horde, Thundering Ceratok, and the Uncommons. Dread Malkin Zombie Cat. Bit of a echo there from Pet Cemetery. Price of Betrayal. Obnixilis the Hate Twisted is your planeswalker. I'll chuck that in as well. And the rare is Soul Diviner. Creature Zombie Wizard. 2 3 for 2. Tap. Move a counter from an artifact, creature land, or planeswalker you control. You get to draw a card and a foil devouring hellion. With a Swamp and Wall Token onto Allegiance. So you know what we're looking for here. And I said that the other day. And that actually led to me pulling what I was looking for. Fingers crossed we have Viscopa Vampire. Sages Rose Savant. Dead Revels. Seraform Hybrid. Burn Bright. Grasping Thrall. Skitter Eel. Debtor's Transport. Oars of Locket. Frenzied Aranx and the Uncommons, Frilled, Mystic the Elf, Lizard Wizard, Dovin's Acuity, Scrabbling Claws, and Rare is Absorb, Instant for 3 counter targets, well you gain 3 life. And then Azorius, Gilgate, and Centaur Token, what is your favourite guild on the plane of Ravnica? Surely it must be the guild of Rakdos, leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree. Okay, next up we have Demir Informant. For Guilds, Rubble Welt Boar, Skyline Scout, Passwall Adept, Generous Stray, Severed Strands, Notion Rain, Celestian Locket, Watcher in the Mist, Pause for Reflection, Uncommon Sledev Champion, Wee Dragonauts, Pelfering Imp, and the rare is a split card, Response and Resurgence. So Response is an instant for two, Response deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Resurgence is a sorcery for five creatures you control gain. First strike and vigilance until end of turn after this main phase. There's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. And a Celestia Gilgate and Insect Token. And you might have noticed we look at the common cards on this channel. What is up with that? Well, I want to soak up the magic artwork. Always good to see some old favorites and new cards. Okay, so which way does this go? And we've got a little bit of a bug in the way. Let's take a look. This is Seachrome Coast. Okay. Got a Plains and Inordinate Rage. Scavenged Blade, Broken Wings, Cliffhaven Kite Sail, Utility Knife. Blood Chief's Thirst, Tangled Florahedron on the other side. We've got the Tangled Veil, Into the Royal, Fireblade Charger, Creature Goblin Warrior. And the rare is Legion Angel. Creature Angel Warrior 4 3 for 4 with flying. So when it ends Badfield, you may reveal a card your own name, Legion Angel, from outside the game and put it into your hand. And a foil Drainer's Silencer with. Oh, nice! A rare from the list. Song of the Dryads, Enchantment Aura for 3. Enchant Permanent. Enchanted Permanent is a colorless fo forest land. That is a mouthful. Nice artwork, too. Okay, so scoop it up here. Always good to see stuff from the list. So there you go, David. Next up we have Janelle Mondragon. Thank you for being a patron. Getting into some Oath of the Gatewatch. On the hunt for Fetchlands as per usual. Okay, we got Expedite. Ondu War Cleric. Ancient Crab. Pulse of Miraza. Zulaput Chain Mage. Dra Isle Avenger. Warden of Geometry. Spawnbinder Mage. 
Vampire Envoy, Reality Hemorrhage and the Uncommons, Harvester Troll. You just knew we would be trolled sooner or later, didn't you? Void Grafter, Stoneforge Acolyte, and rare is Captain's Claws. Artifact equipment for two. A quick creature gets plus one plus zero, and whenever a quick creature attacks, put a one one white core ally creature token onto battlefield, tap and attacking, equip it for one. And this reminds me, uh, we've got some flesh and blood unboxings coming on the channel soon. That's a new TCG, so looking forward to it. And an island and Eldrazi Scion. I'll chuck him in as well. So there we are, Janelle. Next up, let's go to Brian Simmons. Thank you for being a patron, getting into some core 2020. Okay, starting off with Fire Elemental. Inspired Charge, Brightwood Tracker, Audacious Thief, Leafkin Druid, Frostlinx, Daggersail Aeronaut, Creature Goblin, Unholy Indenture, yet yeah, unmistakable Seb McKinnon artwork, Marauder's Axe, Sleep Paralysis, and Uncommon's Empyrean Eagle, Hardcover, Scampering Scorcher, and the rare is brought back. Instant for two. Choose up to two target permanent cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Return them to the battlefield tapped. A planes and elemental token. Alright, on to core 2021. And which of these two sets is your favourite core set? Or maybe you have another all-time favourite. Let me know in the comments section. Next up we got a sapling token. Jungle Hollow, a foil. Thrill of possibility. There we are, nice foiling on that one. And a mythic. Nice. Bane Slayer Angel. Critch Angel 5555. Has flying first strike, lifelink, protection from demons and from dragons. That is a good deal indeed. Uncommons Hellkite Punisher. Tempered Veteran. Watcher of the Spheres. And the Commons Duress. Turn to Slag. Revitalize. Warded Battlements. Lofty Denial. Concordia Pegasus. Teferi's Protege. Showcase Port Color Spine. Pitchburn Devils, and that is it. Okay, on to some mysteries. So these actually have over 1,800 cards in the set. I have not memorized the daily prices of every single one. So if I miss anything, I'll definitely catch it during editing. We've got Ninth Bridge Patrol, Shoulder to Shoulder, Ever Dream, Mystical Teachings, Prowling Pangolin. Oh dear. Lethal Sting, Stormblood Berserker, Frilled Death Spitter, what is that from Rivals Vixen, Seek the Horizon, Crossroads Consecrator, Fusion Elemental, cool artwork, Simic Locket, Soothsaying from Macadian Mask, so check that in just because the artwork's pretty cool, and Beastmaster Ascension is rare, Enchantment 3. So whenever a creature you control attacks, you may put a quest counter on Beastmaster Ascension. As long as Beastmaster Ascension has seven or more quest counters on it, creatures you control get plus five, plus five, and a foil lantern of insight. Let's really get some foiling there. There we go. Okay, so scoop them up here for Brian. And lucky last... Who do we have? It is Mark S. Baker. Thank you for being a patron, getting into more guilds. Where are the shock lands? Or what do you call them? Do you call them shock lands or pain lands? I know people have different names for these things. All right, we have Maximize Velocity, Healer's Hawk, Portcullis Vine, Dowser of Lights, Hired Poisoner, Venati Shieldmate, Hypothesizzle, Prey Upon Hammer Dropper. Demir Locket, and Uncommon's Conclave Tribunal, Street Riot, Sunhome Stalwart, and rare is Swiftblade Vindicator, Creature Human Soldier 1-1 one, one for 2, has Double Strike Vigilance and Trample, and an is it a Gilgate, or is it an isn't it, oh that's a mouthful, Elf Knight Token, okay, moving on to Allegiance. <laughs> we got some slime here, slime bind, and if you missed my secret lair video with all the different oozes, I'll pop a link in the corner to that one. That was a lot of fun. Okay, Savage Smash, Viscopa Vampire, Arrestor's Admonition, Rakdos Trumpeter, 
Mammoth Spider Law Mage is binding. Act of Treason. Imperious Oligarch, Watchful Giant, Jaya Engineer for the Uncommons, Vindictive Vampire, Junk Troller, and Rare is Absorb. Instant for three. Counter Target Spell, you gain three life. Fancy seeing that again. Gruel, Gilgate, and some ooze. There you go, Mark. Chuck in some ooze for you. All right. What do we have next? Some mystery. Love the mystery boosters. They're a little harder to come by these days. A little expensive, but I like to provide them for the patrons as long as I can. Next up, we have Soul Mender. Wake the Reflections. Guard Gomazoa. Jellyfish. Okay. Aether Snipe. Torment of Venom, Eye Blight's Ending, Monastery Swift Spear, pretty sure that's still over a buck, I'll check it in, Boulder Salvo, Rampant Growth, Ambassador Oak, Bitumus, Bitumus Blast, there's another mouthful, Milliken, and a Mythic, and it's Thrun, the last troll, we have been trolled again, Legendary Creature Troll Shaman, 4-4-4-4, four, 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 four. Thrun the last troll, can't be counted, nice. Can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent's control for one and a green. Regenerate Thrun. Is this one of your commanders? Leave a note in the comments. And another rare, Cauldron of Souls. Artifact for five. Tap, choose any number of target creatures. Each of those creatures gain persist until end of turn. So when it dies, if it had no minus one, minus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a minus one, minus one counter on it. And a foil, Gleeful Sabotage. This is a bit of a strange one. Not quite sure what I'm looking at there. Are those creatures playing a uh, strange harp with a face? Looks like one's going to smash it. Very strange indeed. One more pack of mystery, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. What do we have? Acrobatic Maneuver. Wall of Omens. Flash Freeze. Augur of Bolus, Vampire Nighthawk, Bartisan Bats, Volcanic Rush, Fiery Hellhound, Spider Spawning, Reclaiming Vines, Putrefy, that is Putrid, Prophetic Prism, and the rare Draco. Love the artwork on this one. Artifact Creature Dragon, 9 9 for 16. What? You cost two less to play for each basic land type among lands you control has flying at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice Draco unless you pay 10. What? This cost is reduced by 2 for each basic land type among lands you control. Okay, so you'd probably... What is that? You have a multicolored deck, I would imagine. And the second rare, Gonti, Lord of Luxury, Legendary Creature, Aetherborn Rogue, 2-3 for 4, with Death Touch. When Gonti enters the battlefield, look at the top 4 cards of target opponent's library. So one of them face down, put the rest on the bottom of that library in a random order. For as long as that card remains that soldier, you may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as well, one mana of any type to cast it. I wonder if this is going to be in Kaladesh Remastered. Most likely is. So that's on MTG Arena coming this week. Looking forward to it. And a Mythic. Yes, it's a foil Mythic. Let's get the lighting set up. There we are. Sarkhan the Mad. Planeswalker Sarkhan. Seven loyalty for five. So he's zero ability. Build the top card of your library and put it into your hand. He deals damage to himself equal to that card's command mana cost minus two. Target creature's controller sacrifices it. Then that player puts a 5-5 five five red dragon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Minus four. Each dragon creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target player. Not the craziest mythic, but you know what? It's a mythic. We will take it and enjoy it. So we did get quite a few mythics this episode. Very pleased with that. So enjoy the pulls there, Mark. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.